I thought of an interesting way to look at things because I, I say a lot that we're all God and everyone has heard that and some people believe it but can't really fathom the idea. But picture how, say, you have an anthill out in your yard and you go out and you, you know, burn the anthill and the anthill's not there no more. Or you have uh, grass, you mow, you maintain a garden, you do that kind of stuff too. That's outside of you. Okay. Well, you have a very little interaction with your garden and the anthill and the whatever. And it's all just going on outside. You, the wind is blowing, the whatever is all happening, and you have nothing to do with it. Sometimes you interact with it. Well, what is your body? You think your body is, is yours because, you know, you move it around consciously. But do you know there's blood, even the hand that you're, that you can use to play a piano, you're moving your fingers and all that stuff, but the blood that's flowing around inside of it is just like the environment outside of you maintaining itself. And just like you can maintain your lawn or water your garden or water a flower or pet your dog, you can feed yourself healthy food and give your body, quote, environment, more stimulus to uh, succeed or more reason to decay or, say, you burn an anthill, it goes away. If you feed yourself horrible things, things in your body will go away and decay and die. So your body is not guaranteed to have to break down if you maintain it the same way that wilderness and nature somehow maintains by going through the same course of action even though it seems boring if you go through a constant action of repetition in certain things like probably the foods you eat and the stuff you do in in terms of your health you go through the same course of action your environment can stay very flourished and you know very good for a long period of time but if you don't take care of your environment it will decay and diminish so it may seem boring for bees to do whatever they do out there in the wilderness in the spring to the summer and then they hide and then they come back and the animals that live for years to do the same thing over and over and over and over again whatever they're doing to survive is good enough for them because they're not thinking oh I did this yesterday they're not thinking Oh, when when's the new app coming out for this this and this? And we think we're so lucky because we have all these things to do, but we're always so bored. I mean, when I say we, I don't mean myself, but I mean people. Like they're always so bored because they have too much to do, and they're not doing what they want because somebody else is doing it. Instead of realizing that they just need to have a good time, whatever they're doing, and aim towards those things that they want to experience, and eventually they get there and stop aiming so high right off the start. I mean, the whole fun of life is the trip there. So, anyway, I went a little longer than I wanted, but that was it for now. Peace.